In this video, we'll introduce you to three strategies to help your brain learn better. First of all, you should know that in order to learn, your brain has to change. It contains a large number of neurons, which are cells that communicate information. These neurons are like messengers. They connect together to create paths through which nerve impulses pass, a kind of electric signal that transmits information from one place to another. It's when you learn to do something, for example, riding a bike, that these connections between your neurons are created and strengthened. This is called neuroplasticity. This is what makes you improve. So, in order to learn, your brain has to change. But that's not all. You also need to note that you can decide to change your brain and help it go through such change. We can compare the connections between your neurons to paths in a forest. Walking through a wild forest is difficult. You have to clear the vegetation to make your way. But the more you use the same path, the more a trail emerges, the easier and more practical it becomes and the faster you can walk in it. It's the same thing for the connections between your neurons. The more you use the connections associated to a specific learning task, the stronger they get. This is what makes them more efficient and easier to use. This is when a task becomes easier and how you improve. Whether you're learning to speak, read, ride a bike, or do math, it's the strengthening of the right connections that makes you better. So how can you help your brain change? First, to create and strengthen the connections between your neurons, you need to practice repeatedly. You didn't learn to read within one day. You practiced many times and then got better. In order to strengthen your connections related to any type of learning, whether it's reading or math, you have to use them repeatedly. Another way to help your brain change is to make efforts. For example, paying attention to explanations and concentrating on retrieving information from your memory help your brain activate the right connections. Sometimes you may be faced with a trap. You should resist taking that neural trail to avoid falling into the trap and instead use another neural trail that requires a little more effort but leads to the correct answer. This allows you to strengthen the right neural connections and avoid falling into the trap next time. The second strategy to help your brain learn is to use your mistakes or difficulties to improve yourself. Sometimes you make a mistake by choosing the wrong trail in your brain. This is perfectly normal. The important thing is that your mistakes give you clues about what you need to work on to improve. When you make a mistake, you may get discouraged and give up. But if you do, your brain won't change in order to learn. However, if you see your mistakes as a challenge, you can avoid making the same mistake next time. How can you do this? By paying attention to the reasons why you made that mistake. When your brain makes new connections to become better, it may feel like it's hard. But that means you're learning, so you must persevere to strengthen those new connections. Finally, the third strategy is to believe that you can succeed. This helps your brain get into action. When you think you can't succeed in a task, your brain gives up. It doesn't make any more effort and doesn't activate its neurons. However, when you believe that you can take on the challenge, the connections in your brain are activating and strengthening, allowing you to improve and succeed. In summary, you now know that in order to learn, your brain must change. To improve and get better, you need to help your brain change by practicing repeatedly, making efforts and resisting traps. Use your mistakes to improve by trying to understand them. Believe that you can succeed to get your brain into action. Remember that your brain is powerful and that you are in control of it. You can help it to learn better.